Hi, welcome to Personal Finance. I'm Tom Mihawk, and this is University of Massachusetts, the MBA program at Eisenberg. Course 697 PF called Module 1 and Course 697 QF called Module 2. This year for the first time, 697 PF, the introduction course, has two sections. And those sections are going to be merged using one shell in Blackboard. The introductory course has career chapter, a budget chapter, tax, introduction to personal finance. It's a great way to kick off your learning about personal finance. And the cash management section is all about credit and debt and paying bills and cash management and cash accounts and that sort of thing. Um, the challenge in doing these introductory videos is trying to remember everything and get all the information out for you, you know, so it's interesting and also gives you a good overview about the course too. So I'm going to do the best I can. I try to do a new one each time and now, you know, video is, is so common and easy to do. So, you know, the expectation is that it should be highly uh, a well-produced um, and easy to watch video. So there are four courses in the program. Uh, module three is um, insurance, retirement, and estate planning. Module four is investments. Three and four are available in the summer. I urge you to take them if you've uh, if you haven't already. If you, of course, if you're only taking one and two for the first time, you don't know if it's worth it yet. But my hope is by the end of the of taking one and two, if you have the space for it, you'll take them in combination. All four of those constitute a full course in personal finance. My understanding is alumni can take it at half price. So if you finish the program, you can still take it. And um, some people have done that. And also, I think you get a credit toward a minor as well, which is great. I'm an undergrad engineer by training. I um, went back to graduate business school and uh, thought I'd go into manufacturing management, but I ended up working on Wall Street. I interviewed well, took a job to work in corporate finance on Wall Street, stayed in investment banking for five years, and uh, went into a portfolio company where we built financial planning programs in banks. The company I worked for was one of the top four or five or so in the industry, and I did that for a few years and then went into and but stayed in the industry distributing insurance investment products investment management services ultimately through financial advisors all over the country at the end of that time those 10 years i ran a business unit for an investment management firm and um, then for the last 16 17 years i've been a financial advisor myself and all net worth ranges ultra high net worth you know average net worth about 20 million I now work with everybody, younger people, young couples, lower net worth, as well as more sophisticated planning uh, when it comes up. The key for this course for me is to make it be interesting, to push you a little bit out of your comfort zone, get you involved with the material, create a little bit of a community. In the summer through University of Massachusetts, I was asked to teach a personal finance course. And what I understand was the first offer to UMass alumni. So they asked alumni, what do you want to learn? What course would you like to take? And apparently they said in the majority or overwhelmingly, they wanted personal finance. And as part of that, I put together a program and you'll see that influenced the syllabus that you have now, but included in that are what what have what has evolved in this course including discussions zoom get-togethers we'll have at least two and i'll give you dates you know i'll follow up with dates for you um we now have uh videos all my videos are available at youtube there's a direct link from the blackboard shell in the course content section direct to youtube it's easy to get all of my material is available in the slides with no video over top of it i used to use you know, the, the uh, publisher slides. Well, now I have my own and, um, and I think they're good and the videos are good and students comment that they like having them. We'll have quizzes in the course, um, one for each chapter, one's one discussion for each chapter as well. We'll have podcasts available. First time I did this was in this summer session uh, for recent UMass grads. And Interestingly, people responded that they liked it. They liked having you the podcast available. They could listen to it at the gym, on, the, on, on their commute, on their way home, and it created more of a community for the course. I'm recording, I have plans to record one this weekend. It's with a UMass grad, a graduate of this course. He and his family have done investment real estate for a long time, and I think it's a great topic. And that podcast will be available sometime, I imagine, sometime next week. 
I began to say I, I uh, just a little bit about my background. Another thing I want to add for you is that I coach sports for maybe a dozen or 14 years, girls and boys, competitive travel, not so competitive intramural soccer and lacrosse. And during that time, I had three undefeated teams. And the reason that matters is I did it by not just playing my best players. Anyone can have an undefeated team if you only play your best players all the time. I was able to develop players, come up with strategies, figure out what we were weak at, how to strengthen the areas where we were strong, make stronger the areas where we were weak. And um, I want to bring that, I do bring that to, the, to, to this course. You know, I, I want to find the students. I want all of you to be motivated by the material. I want all of you to show enthusiasm. Try, right? Try. If you don't find it interesting, if you try, you might, you might be surprised and find that it's really interesting. That emphasis on achieving and achieving in competitive situations and, you know, being motivated to, uh, to learn is what I want to bring to this classroom. My goal is for this course, these both these courses, PF and QF, to be among the best ones you take at Eisenberg. And the feedback I get is that that's true. I evolve the course over time, such as the YouTube videos I mentioned. All the chapters are flexible. You can work in advance if you know you're traveling. You can finish anything in advance. Um, you can do it anywhere. Obviously, that's, I guess, one of the benefits of, of, a, of an online course, right? Let's talk a little bit about the course design. Your grade is composed of three components, discussion, questions, including individual engagement, contribution, and involvement. Well, I used to call that participation, but now I call it engagement, contribution, and involvement. What I want to see is in the discussion, and there's detail about how to, if you want to score a top score, get an A, there's detail about how to do that. It's kind of a lifestyle choice, right? If you don't want to put as much effort in, you can get less than an A, and that's okay. That's fine. Um, I'm not out to give. I'm not out to to beat people up. If you do what the syllabus requires, you'll earn a top score. If you do less than that, you'll earn less of a score. But these discussion questions are due with every chapter. Um, we have quizzes. There are there's a quiz for every chapter. In uh, PF, there are four chapters. In QF, there are five chapters. Each of them have, are, are timed. They're you know, 25 or 30 minutes. They're a reasonable number of questions. You have two tries. Top score makes it. They're designed to be part of the learning. You know, the idea is not to... And, and, and when students ask me what's on the quiz, well, the important stuff is what's on the quiz. When we only have 25 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, we can only ask so many questions per chapter. And so you know, the important stuff is what's on it. And then last, we have course projects. And I'm going to talk in the next slide about one of the projects, one of my favorite projects in, the, 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 in uh, Module 1, uh, PF. But we have two projects in each. Um, there's detailed description of them um, in the syllabus. In general, they're one page. Uh, show enthusiasm. Jump in. You don't have to take 10 hours to do it. Uh, jump in. Submit at the Blackboard site. So we have discussion, quizzes, course projects. We have Zoom get-togethers, at least two in the course. We have podcasts that will be available, and all that should be helpful. Okay. So this book I published last year, this time last year, Optimize Your Resume. Proven Techniques for Competitive Situations. It made it as high as number one in Amazon's hot new releases based on sales. I mean, it. I mean, look, it beat it beat What Color Is Your Parachute? And I used that book 30 years ago. I mean, that is, I mean, I'm grateful. The, the book is a phenomenal book. And I'm, I'm uh, how can I say, I'm, I'm um, not just pleased, but I, I, I'm, I'm honored that I was able to do it briefly to beat What Color Is Your Parachute. It's available at Amazon. It's available in electronic form. Color. The color is gorgeous. Take a look. Look at this color. Um, and then there's also available in black and white. Black and white's a little less expensive than the color. It's an easy size. Students get B 
better jobs. They get better interviews using the techniques in this book. And I know this, if you read the reviews at Amazon, you'll see that some of the reviews were done by people that know me. I know it's the way people do it, but some were not, some were done by students. And um, so we'll use this text in module one. I will help anybody, by the way, who wants to talk about their resume. And I've done this. I have students who've kept in touch. Um, so even if you're in module two, QF, you're welcome to ask me about your resume. And I'm happy to, to look at it with you and offer some ideas for you. Okay, so the first two slides that you saw were recorded winter session last year, 2021. This is being recorded 2022. The first two slides, everything's the same. A few exceptions. The only ones really, I think there's only one section this year for the investments course. And this year the course, you know, we've now started preview week. The course starts the 14th of December. And instead of ending in January, it ends the first week of February, the third, uh, which is a Friday. Grades are due the following Thursday. I want to re-emphasize that in the discussions, if you want to score an A, do three complete chapters, I'm sorry, three complete paragraphs and include a few sentences. Show through your energy and your interest that that's your goal. If your goal isn't to get an A, that's okay. Um, I will say that students respond that the way the discussions are set up are very good for learning. Read the other discussions that you're not participating in use them to your benefit to learn as much as you can about the course. You can find me at LinkedIn, YouTube. You'll, all of our videos are now linked directly to YouTube, so they're easy to use. Resume optimization, I have published, not recently, but I have published at both Instagram and Twitter. You can, as I've said, uh, in the syllabus, you can find me, you can email me at tomjmihawk at gmail.com. You can also email me at the UMass um, email address, but I check Tom J. Mihawk more often. If you want to get me sooner, email me at Gmail. I teach personal finance modules one, which is introduction to cash management, three, which is estate planning, insurance, and retirement, and four, investments. I hope if you haven't uh, taken those others that you will. If you're coming back, great to have you. Thrilled to have you back again. Um, those in module one will use the book. You've uh, heard me describe how it performed as a, an Amazon hot new release. Here's what it looks like right here. You can find it at Amazon, easy to find. The pictures are gorgeous, in color, enjoy it and use it not only in the course, but later. And those in module two, cash management, if you wanna get it, uh, please feel free. I will, I'm willing to help anybody with their resume. So be in touch. Uh, if you'd like to go over your resume, happy to do it. Module one has a, um, a project in this area, so you'll do a plenty of that in the course. I'm thrilled to have you. Thank you for signing up, and I look forward to getting to know you over the next uh, four to six weeks. One difference, one other difference may be our Zooms, and I'll be in touch about Zooms. During the course, I'll probably try to do two of them. We'll see how things go. I want to see uh, your engagement. I want to see your interest level. Uh, Zooms have been useful. I typically do them at night on a night that works for as many people as possible, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So I'll be in touch about that. Have a great holiday. I'm Tom Mihawk. This is Personal Finance Modules 1 and 2, and I look forward to getting to know you. Thank you.